Farmers and Green groups joined forces outside state parliament today. They were protesting against the government's draft policy on coal seam gas drilling. Nationals leader Andrew Stoner was the focus of much of the anger. The farmers united and in bed with a traditional enemy. The crowd snaked through the city to state parliament, voicing its fears about coal seam gas drilling. The protesters are warning the politicians to listen to their concerns or risk more public outcry. We don't need it in the farming community, where it is where your food and your water come from. I was born in the country, but I'm very much a city person, so uh, it's, an interest, it's interesting to see how the two groups come together. The crowd was warmed up by some unlikely speakers. In the past, in the past, we've achieved much by rolling up our sleeves to get on with the job. This is more than tea and scones, believe me. Can I encourage the New South Wales Nationals to do what is right, to stand tall, and if that means entering into a dispute with your coalition partners, then that is what you ought to do. The crowd directed its fury against Andrew Stoner and the Nationals' leader lost his cool. If you'll, if you'll just shut your mouth for a, whip, for a minute, mate, it will be, don't you worry. His Liberal colleague chose to explain the government's position from Parliament. What we are seeking to do is to have one of the toughest regimes in the world, certainly the toughest in Australia, uh, to ensure that uh, the strategic agricultural lands are protected. Federal Independent MP Tony Windsor from the state's northwest also weighed in. I think one of the key messages in this is that people aren't opposed to exploratory activities, but they want the science right. A parliamentary committee has today recommended a halt on mining production licences until a strict regulatory regime is introduced. Eliza Blue, ABC News.